Hi, I'm Allie, and I'm Living Chronic Faith. Thanks for stopping by. I can't believe that January is already over, and we are on to the second month of the year. I am excited to see what God is going to do this month. I believe he's going to show up for us in ways that we cannot even imagine or ask for. He is going to show himself strong, and I am calling it Faithful February, because I am believing God to show himself in every area of my life and yours. So I'm excited about it and I'm ready to see what God has in store for us. So with that, I just want to say to everybody, happy February. As we always do, let's begin this month by committing it to the Lord for his will and his purposes. Will you pray with me? Gracious God, we just thank you once again for a brand new month. Lord, you give us new mercies every single day. And with this brand new month, we have new mercies to look forward to new adventures, new blessings, new miracles, and new favor. So, Lord, we thank you for what is to be. We thank you, Lord, for what you've done already in 2024, for all the blessings, for all the provision, and for all the ways that you've made. Thank you for sustaining us. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for comforting and keeping us, God. And thank you, Lord, just for being the same yesterday, today, and forever. We honor you in this moment, God, because you are who you say you are. Lord, and you keep showing us that over and over again. So Lord, we take this moment to acknowledge you and to worship your majesty. You are holy, you are righteous, and there is none like you. God, you have no rival. There is none equal to you. There is none, God, that can measure up to you. You are God and God alone. And you are God for us and you are God with us. Thank you for counting us worthy, God, of your presence. Thank you for inviting us daily into relationship with you. Thank you for leading and guiding us. Thank you for taking up residence in our hearts, Lord, and showing us the way, for reminding us, God, of all the things that we've learned and for guiding us in those things that we don't yet know. Lord, you are absolutely everything to us, and we thank you for your faithfulness and for your goodness. Lord, and we thank you for what you're doing for us even in this moment. God, thank you for just allowing us to see your goodness in the land of the living. Thank you, Lord God, for the purpose that you have created us with and for. Lord, that there is something meaningful to this life that you have set aside for us to do uniquely. God, that there is something for each of us to do that only we are called to. And thank you for equipping us and for preparing us to do exactly that, that you go before us to prepare the way that you go with us to strengthen and equip us, God, and that you are our rear guard and defense. We just thank you for your goodness. Thank you, Lord, that you have us covered on every side. Thank you, Lord God, that you are not a man that you should lie, nor the son of man that you should repent. But God, if you said it, you're going to do it. And if you've spoken it, you're going to make it good. So Lord, we just honor you. We thank you for your consistency and your faithfulness and for your love. Lord, as we enter this month of February, we just want to lift up the entire month to you with the extra day for the leap year, God. We lift up all 29 days, God, to you. And we ask you to have your way, God, that you will be glorified in the decisions that we make, in the conversations that we have, in the things that we don't do, God, in the time that we rest, Lord. We ask that your name will receive the glory for it all. God, that we would honor you with our decisions. Lord, that we would consider you in everything that we do before we do it. Lord, that we would seek your guidance and your wisdom, your direction and your clarity, and that we would obey you completely and quickly. Lord, that we would not delay, that we would not obey partially, but Lord, that we would seek to align with everything that you say. God, that we would say the amen where the yes has already been spoken. So Lord, we ask you as we go into this month, that you would guide our steps, that you would give us discernment so that we can see as you would have us to see. And Lord, in those places where we cannot yet see, in those places that are hidden to us, God, that we would lean into you, God, and into your direction. Lord, so that even though we don't know sometimes which way we're going or how to get there, God, that if we follow you, that we'll end up in the right place. So Lord, we surrender our will to you. And we ask you, God, just to show up in our decisions. 
that you would allow us to yield ourselves to you completely, that we would love you with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength. God, even those parts that are uncomfortable, even those parts that we have been hesitant to let you in, God, that we would love you with all of it and that you would trust you with everything. So, Lord, I pray for everyone who is praying with me right now, God, that you would bless them exponentially. God, that you would absolutely blow their minds with what you have planned for them. God, and that we will be able to walk in the way that will lead us right into the blessings and the favor that have our names on it. God, you have a plan for each and every one of us, and it's a good plan. And so, Lord, we want what you want. And we ask you to help us, God, in those moments where we want what we want. God, to change our mindset and to shift our thinking, God, that we will say, nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. Lord, have your way the entire month of February. It is yours. So, Lord, we ask you to bless finances. Lord, that you would make ways where there seem to be no ways, God, where you would stretch money, God, that seems to be limited. God, even as you multiplied the fishes and the loaves, we know that little becomes much when we place it in your hands. So, God, we ask for multiplying grace, hallelujah, over the finances of everyone who prays with me, even right now. God, that you would send windfalls and increase and blessings. God, that you would send resources that they didn't even know of, things that they hadn't even been aware of, God, that you would open doors for them, God, that no man can shut and that you would be the one that makes a difference. You are El Shaddai. You are the all-sufficient God and we have enough in you. And so Lord, help us to rely on that enoughness that is in you, even when the bank account doesn't say enough, even when the wallet doesn't say enough. God, you are more than enough. Help us to be reminded of that. Help us to be reminded of all the times, God, that you have stepped in. Lord, when you have shown up on time, that you are never late, that you never fail us, God, that your track record is good with us. Help us to remember, God, just like Jeremiah wrote that this we will recall to our minds and it will give us hope that it is only because of your mercies that we haven't been consumed already. God, that your compassions, your mercies never fail, but they're new every morning and that your faithfulness to us is great. Help us to always keep that in mind when the enemy would distract us. Help us to focus on you fixing our eyes on Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Lord, I pray that your hand of healing would rest heavily on everyone who prays with me. God, to those who are in their extended family, to everyone in their household, Lord, that your healing would flow like a river, that your peace would go and do the work that only it can do. God, that your peace would speak to our bodies, to those places that are out of alignment with your will for us, that it would speak to them and command them to line up with your word over us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we receive healing, God. We receive it in your timetable, in the way that you send it, God, and we say yes to all of it. Father, I pray for relationships, God, of every kind. God, that you would put your hand on them. God, where healing is needed, that you would heal. Where restoration is needed, that you would restore. Where strength is needed, God, that you would strengthen. God, I thank you that you are drawing people together, God, for your purposes and your glory. I thank you, God, that you are putting distance between people, oh God, that are taking away from what your will is. And I thank you, Lord, that you are doing it for our good. So, Lord, we yield to you. We yield those relationships, God, and we say work in them, God, to your glory. God, we thank you, Lord, that you see us right where we are and that you always want and always do what is best for us. So, Lord... Our hands are up. We yield and we say, have your way. God, we pray right now for leaders everywhere, leaders in the government, leaders in your church, leaders in the school, leaders on jobs, God, and leaders in households. God, we just ask that you give them divine direction. Lord, that you would give them downloads, God, that will show them the way to go about what it is that needs to be accomplished, God, so that it will be in alignment with your perfect will. God, we want your divine will, not your permissive will. Too long we've been operating in the way that we want it and you've been making up the difference. But God, we want to walk in the way that is pleasing to you. So Lord, we ask you just to lead us, to give us grace, that we would lean into you and into your word, that we would pray and seek you more diligently. God, that we would wait and listen and meditate on your word so that we can hear your voice and obey quickly. And Lord, 
I pray that you would help us to be the ambassadors in the earth that will draw people to you. People that have never heard your name. People that have never experienced your presence. People that have never experienced your salvation, God. That they would see our lives. That they would hear our words. That they would witness our actions, God, and desire to know you, God. That they would see our good works and glorify you in heaven because we have allowed your light to shine through us. May your glory be reflected in everything that we do. So, Lord, I lift up everyone who is bereaved right now, anyone who is grieving any type of loss. Lord, you see them. I pray, God, that your Holy Spirit would do what he came to do and comfort them, God, in the way that only he can. I pray, Lord God, that they would lean into your peace and that they would allow you to heal their hearts. And I pray, Lord God, just for anyone who is going through any type of challenge, Lord, that you would show up. And that you would remind them that you are with them in every single moment, that they are never alone and that they are never having to do it in their own strength. But you said that in our weakness, your strength is made perfect. So, Lord, we rely on your grace that is sufficient in every circumstance. And we ask you to have your way. Be glorified in every aspect of our lives. May your name receive the glory, honor and praise in all things. For it is in Jesus' name that we pray and we give you thanks. Amen and amen. Happy February, everybody. I'm excited for what God is going to do. And I look forward to sharing all of the wonderful praise reports with you as the month goes on. So feel free to drop those in the comments. Feel free to drop your prayer requests in the comments if you'd like. I would love to join my faith with yours. And until next time, I love you. I'm praying for you. And I'll talk to you soon. Have a great one. Living Chronic Faith is a faith-first community of believers living with chronic medical conditions and the loved ones who support them. For more support, encouragement, and resources, join the membership for free at www.livingchronicfaith.com.